sitting on the curb on Kearney Avenue in Kearney waiting for what might be the only tourist bus whose tour starts in New York City and then takes people over here to Jersey. It's the Soprano Sites Tour run by New York based on location tours. The bus plies the gritty North Jersey landscape to see 50 plus sites featured in the landmark series, like this spot, once home to a building used as the pork store hangout for Tony Soprano's crew. We're now in a town called Kearney, primarily Irish and Scottish. That building was the Irish American Association, except when they filmed here. Then they were paid $250 to put up an Italian flag and become the Italian American Association. The tour runs every week, but today is special. It's the 20th anniversary of the show's debut. Even Tony Soprano is here himself in the form of Nicky Petito from Newark. Brings back a lot of good memories, though, good times. You know, the old days, they're gone. They may be gone, but the fans keep coming. But I've been doing it for 17 years. We're still selling out. Today, there are fans from Spain, Canada, and this couple from Australia. It's a bucket list thing for us, so happy days. The tour hits all the local hot spots, the go-go bar that served as the Bada Bing, Tony's legitimate sanitation business, and our beloved Pulaski Skyway. Finally, here at Holston's in Bloomfield, site of the series' famous final scene, visitors take turns sitting in Tony's booth where it all came to an end. Andrea Press, Jersey native and media studies and sociology professor at the University of Virginia, brought 15 students of hers. They're comparing what they see here with the Upper Manhattan landscape they saw on the Sex and the City tour. It just sort of oozes ethnic New York culture. There you have it, New Jersey, one great sociology field trip. We locals knew that already, right? I'm Brian Donahue. I'm Tony Soprano, and this is Positively New Jersey.